Hi friends, today I would like to show you this new really cool thing called Instruct Pix to Pix and it's when you are uploading an image and you can change something in that image and I think this is absolutely incredible. So let me show you. Um, I will show you first what I'm talking about and then I'll show you how to install it. So I'm reading um, a Wrinkle in Time book and I was so ins I'm so inspired by it and it's my, one of my favorite books. And I generated some uh, images inspired by this book. And for example, if you upload this image and I know that this is a girl because uh, it's the main character of the book. And imagine if I would like to change it into uh, let's say a boy and um, I can write here edit instructions and I would say convert her into a boy and now I can press generate and let's see what's going to happen and sometimes we will need to play with these numbers so um, I will explain it to you just in a second. So you see it kind of started changing the hairstyle and I'm sorry that I use this gender binary things but I think you understand what I mean. It's just like the, the hair from the first image still remained but it does look like a little boy. So this first um, this first one is text and it means that the higher this number the more it gives importance to the text and the higher this number the more importance it gives to the image so here we see that the image is probably way too important so we will drop it in half those um, arrows can only drop like that so if sometimes you just need to add and you need to type but here we'll just drop it and try to generate again. And yeah, sometimes when you see nothing is happening with your image, you may have to increase this number. But over here it was visible. So you see it, it changed that. It changed it to this uh, different lifestyle. And maybe I will even go 0 0.8 and then generate again and see what happens. So using this technique you can uh, change subjects of your images you can turn yourself into a cyborg so you see here it even now changed the outfit to make it like more um, like trousers and like hoodie and the haircut so and I find it's really useful when you need to either change a subject or maybe modify something in your image. Friends, uh, you can go to helpers and here I made a helper for you and you, if you press here you will see these two uh, links and first one goes to this github that you will need to um, to download something and the second one will go to the model so you can always find them at chrisart.helpers um, and just over here um, those two links you will need in this tutorial first thing we will go to code and then we will just download this zip file and when it's downloaded you will just extract it to your SD folder, to your stable diffusion folder. Yeah, just install it there and then uh, go to this folder, SD, and this is a new folder, instruct pix to pix main. And here you will need to change the environment file. And the best thing to do is to find your um, notepad and if you can't find it it can be if you right click show more options and just go to um, notepad and you just need to uh, change the transformers version so you will change it to 
uh, just delete it and change it to 4, 25, and 1. And then after that, you will just need to save this. Uh, just save this file and exit. And now uh, you'll just need to run Anaconda. If you haven't installed it yet, please install Anaconda. I um, talked about it in one of my previous tutorials. And then you will need to change to SD instruct pix, uh, pix to main. Make sure you are in, in that folder that you've just installed. And after that, you will just copy this one line on GitHub and just uh, paste it here and run. And it will take you some time. So now when it's installed, you just need to again copy this line, conda activate, uh, just here and paste it over there and just run it. And then you will need to go to Hugging Face Tim Brooks and go to Files and Versions and you will just download this um, big file. And it's a model and it will take uh, around 20 to 30 minutes, maybe even longer. I am going to, s to speed this up and um, I already downloaded it to make sure this tutorial is <laughs> fast. But you will need to wait and then when it is downloaded just copy it and go back to your sd folder and go back to this instruct pix to pix folder and you'll need to create a new folder and call it checkpoints and then you will just put that um, model into this folder and now all you need to do is go back to anaconda and you will need to run another um, another line of code and it's python um, if i remember correctly but i may be wrong it's app edit let's try it no it's not app edit so let's let's just go back to that page and just check it it's on uh, github and if you just yeah it's edit app it's just the other way around. Not app edit, but edit app. And now just run it. And again, it'll take some time. Yeah, and now you will know that it's done because you will see URL and you can copy it. Just select, copy it, and you can paste it into the browser and just run it there. And here we are, here is our interface and here we can just load an example. So just press load example and uh, sometimes if it runs for too long and nothing is happening, it means that you need uh, to go to Anaconda and just see if anything is happening. And if nothing is happening, just press enter. But here I can see that um, it was working. So here we are and we got this, uh, we got the prompt move him at the beach and you get this beautiful sculpture on the beach. And if you say something like convert him to a cyborg, you can uh, press generate and it will do something with it probably will turn him into some sort of cyborg and over here you can read everything about parameters but i will just uh, tell you a little bit yeah see how cool is that it just kind of turned him into a cyborg so here this number it tells you that this it treats this text the prompt more importantly if you raise this number and this is the image it treats this image more importantly so if you would raise this number like two or three you will get this image almost like not 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 too different and if you raise that other number then it will look at the prompt and kind of uh, treat the prompt more importantly and those are cool because you can play see nothing changed because we made 
an image so very important but if i raise it if i drop it and press generate it will probably transform it too much so it's good to play with those numbers and sometimes you can um, add very little like right now when you press those arrows look look how cool i think this is absolutely amazing i'm going